completely out of chance on the on the lineup. So that's so, the countdown. Okay. Game number three. Starting. Uh, so far, we have a one-one tie between IBM and Chopper Training. Uh, Uffman took game number one over VD's Nets, and uh, we just saw Argent Tower take game number two over Azurits. So game number three is on Deadwing LE, A Train versus Blastoids, as uh, Argent Tower and Osiris were just talking about. These are our two, probably our two ace players. Yep, so if this goes two and two, we might see a rematch of this. Yeah. Uh, So yeah, spawning in the lower right-hand corner in the 5 o'clock position we have from Team IBM, the Blue Protoss A-Train. Yes. <coughs> in the upper left-hand corner, at, at spawning at the 11 o'clock position, we have the pink, very manly color, Terran from Team uh, Chopper Trading, Blastoise. <coughs> A-Train so saying, go not hate can survive. So the... Uh, other teams, so for anybody who's watching on stream that didn't hear, the Chopper Training submitted their lineup one day late this week, and so the punishment for that is you can veto one non-tier one unit for one game. So the incredibly stiff punishment that we levied was to veto Battle Cruisers for this game number three. I don't think Blastoise gets the, the hum humility in this right now. No, you didn't think that was funny at all. <laughs> So the one thing about these spawning positions is that their scouting's going to be delayed by at least 30 seconds. A train's going the wrong uh, position too because you can't spawn horizontally on this map anymore. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Well, I didn't know either. Is that true in ladder as well? Yep. That's okay. Yeah. So it looks like we're going to have Reaper opener. Out of the turn player, he's uh, Rex first into a quick gas, um, and then just standard gateway at first with single gas for the Protoss. Yeah, it looks like he's going for some sort of Reaper scout here. Yeah, I assume he was probably going to do proxy battle cruisers, but uh, now that we vetoed battle cruisers, it's not going to be possible. <laughs> no, he had to come up with a plan B. Maybe that's why A-Train went that direction, right? He was looking for that stop for <laughs> So A-Train taking Cybercore and then going into his second gas on 18 supply. So we'll have to see what his initial gas allocation is. I think that gas timing is too late to do like super fast Stargate. I don't know. I think he might go Stargate here. Yeah? For the Oracle opener? Yep. Yep. And we see his probe over there. It's probably going for the proxy right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true. He's going. He knows where he is. He's going to sneak around to the back. He we really do have wants to hide that. <laughs> <laughs> we have command center first. Uh, after that initial reaper, he is falling back into a second barracks and a reactor, so if he goes right into marine production, and it is Oracle, he should have uh, enough marines out to hold it off. Reaper gets in, I don't think, yeah, okay, the reaper got a single probe kill. And Stalker and Mothership Coil shut him down. A-Train is chrono boosting a supply blocked gateway. <laughs> oh, that feeling. <laughs> and it is oh, going to be no. proxy. Oh, proxy. I was wrong. This uh, this is probably going to be some sort of DT play here, maybe a DT drop. So do you think it's it, it's not Blink Stalker? He's just trying to hide the Blink? You do that as well. I have seen DT drops be very successful versus Terran, even in mid-game. So this is actually the build that A-Train tried last week. I, I don't know if this is the exact same build, but he did a DT drop last week and it was uh, PVZ instead of PVT. But he did a really, really all-in version of it. And in fact, this might be the same thing, because you can see the robo facility is coming down. So he built a warp prism and the dark shrine, and then he banked up enough to warp in like seven DTs all at once. 
Uh, and it did zero damage last week. <laughs> and then that was basically the game right there. So, oh, it is going to be Blink, though. I was talking to A-Train earlier this week and playing him for some practice, and I was using this exact build on him. Okay, nope, it looks like he's going for the Blink Stalker here. Yep. And he's actually hiding some of the gateways at the proxy location, too. Uh, no Nexus, though, so this is going to be one base Blink all in. Looks like it, we got four gate. Yeah, this is kind of a, a later interesting four gate variation. I guess this is a pretty reasonable four gate map because the way you can blink up into the main there with the it's um, huge it's a huge opening. Yeah. And he is adding on the warp prism too, so if he can get a force field on that main ramp and then kinda of blink in and out of the main or the natural, this might be a good map for this. Quite a bit of infantry out for the Terran player. He does have two Marauders and uh, what is that? Twelve Marines so far. And here's the Warp Prism coming, so he's going to be dropping them straight in the base. Yeah, he's setting on proxy pylons, and I wonder if the Warp Prism is going to be used to try to boost a sentry in there. Because if he gets a force field on that main ramp, it cuts his oh, arm yeah. half. This could be huge. Without medevacs, that base is going to be wide open. Yep. He's got his uh, mothership core back at home, so he does have the photon overcharge to defend against any sort of counter drop play. The Terran player's pushing out at the worst possible second. <laughs> oh no. A train blinks up in the middle of the base. The Terran player is going to try and snipe back. Him. Oh. This went about as badly for the Terran player as it could have. A-Train not going to be greedy there, snipes off a couple of add-ons, kills some units, and as soon as the army comes back, he gets out. He does have a Zealot warp in over here, though, so I wonder if he's going to try and blink into the natural. Oh, no, he's a bad blink. Yeah. It's quite a bit of Marine Marauder. So the good part about that was that he did delay the stim, which is, which could be huge if he takes advantage of it. Yeah, he delayed Stim, but um, he's A Train is way behind economically. I mean, there's still no sign of a Nexus behind this, and he's down 25 probes to 38 SCVs. So I, I don't know. I feel like the Terran player is kind of stabilizing here. He's got that Widow Mine that's up uh, on the high ground now, and he's got a lot of SCVs clustered around that point. He needs to make something work fast. Yeah, uh, if he doesn't do like game-ending damage with this, he's going to be in trouble. All of his stalkers are on cooldown, so I can't really blink my girl. Little man actually does quite a bit of friendly fire there. He's gonna get stim Holy again. <laughs> you can snipe that stim again. Well, he's got time, it's still quite a ways off now. Aggressive blink forward, here come the SCVs off the line. Supplies have even, there's no it's sign of medevacs. Right now. Yeah. So he's, he's taking out a lot of SCVs here. He's only yeah. mining. Last place is only mining off of one base now. With no gas and the other base. This yeah, could be he's, it. he's done enough economic damage now. It's 25 growth and 21 SCVs. Terran can no longer run all of these production facilities. And here come the rest of the SCVs, but there's no infantry to support him. <laughs> oh no. Orbins. This is looking very good for our Protoss hero. If only he had shot that stim down. Yeah, I still think he's okay. I mean, stim is still, what, 50 seconds off here? And there's gonna be nothing to stim in 50 seconds. Fast he game here. The A train with the Blink Stalker play. Yeah, very nice, very tricksy all in. So, IBM leads two games to one and game four is next.